The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher, you are right in saying, He is one and there is no other than he. And to love him with your heart, with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. Sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. During the time of Jesus, there were two During the time of Jesus, there were two tendencies among the teachers of the law. One group wanted to expand the law into hundreds and perhaps even thousands of smaller little laws. Just for example, what used to be the Ten Commandments that the Lord has given His people was bloated to 613 commandments that is recorded in the Torah. And that is what is recorded aside from those that are passed on simply by oral tradition. So we can imagine there must be thousands of commandments that the people of Israel had to follow. In today's gospel, but on the other hand, there is another group who wish to contract, to, 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 to put the law into fewer words, as, to as few words as possible. For example, there is a story of a disciple of a rabbi who wanted him to sum up the entire law and say it while he was standing on one foot so that the summary will be as short as possible. And perhaps that was the desire of the scribe who approached Jesus today and asked him, which is the first of all the commandments? And Jesus' response was, love God with all your heart, with your mind, with your, all your soul, and with all your strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. And what was the, scri the scribe's response? Well said, teacher, you are right. And Jesus says, you are not far from the kingdom. Finally, my dear sisters and brothers in Christ, we have a teacher of the law, somebody who passes on to the, the law to the people who has finally gotten it right. The past two days, we have been hearing stories of Jesus who, is, who always enters into an argument with the Pharisees, with the Herodians, with Sadducees, and with scribes. But this time, he now, he, we have a scribe who finally gets it right. And he was able to get it right because perhaps the scribe was sincere with his question. He really wanted to know. Perhaps he did not have the desire to trap Jesus just like the Pharisees and the Herodians and the Sadducees of the past few days. But in this particular scribe in today's gospel is different from all of them because, they, because he really wanted to know. This scribe is different because he appears not only to be interested in Jesus' answer, but he, was also, he also manifests an understanding of what Jesus had told him. Jesus said, you are not far from the kingdom because you have understood what I, what I have just told you. And what allowed such understanding? What allowed him to understand? My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, 
in order to truly understand what the Lord speaks to us, there must be an openness. An openness to what the Lord will tell us and an openness to what he will say and an openness to accept that what he says is truth. And this can only happen, this openness can only happen with humility. And humility is that disposition of the mind and of the heart that desires to listen to God speak and hears what is spoken and that one is able and will be able to comprehend what is spoken, believing that the spirit that he has given us will help us understand. And humility finally allows the person to submit to the truth that the Lord is communicating. So humility is that openness to know, to know what the Lord wants to say because I know that the Lord will always speak the truth. But what, what, what is more important also is the love that will allow us to submit ourselves to the person because we know that the person loves us and therefore we can trust the person and therefore we can submit ourselves to the person and entrust ourselves to the person that what this person is telling me and instructing me to do is the truth because this person will never hurt me because this person loves me and therefore the love is very important that it is actually the love that submits, makes us submit ourselves to the person. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, humility is best captured in the lines of a song from the movie Joseph, the King of Dreams, which goes this way. I try to do what's best and faith has made it easy for me to see the best thing that I can do is to put my trust in you. You know better than I, you know the way I've, and I have let go of the need to know why for I know that you know better than I and I know that you love me and I know that I can entrust myself to you. Amen. <laughs>